that uh. was the, the kid wasn't mentioned in the warden one of, of getting killed that yeah. was another story and my aunt sent me that one and she sent me the one about the and why I say this to you okay my aunt and uncle my aunt got a divorce from my uncle that built the was the superintendent of the three Larson sites okay well who she remarries who she marries owns the gasoline bulk plant so he's got the bulk of the gas stations he owned the only two gas stations in Morton uh -huh. and I was laughing right I mean because it's like you know they're both across the street from one another but different brands but nobody knew the difference mm -hmm. right so as a kid growing up I used to always kid my uncle about God, you, you got to love competition, right? I mean, you own those stations, and they don't know this. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, see, at my mom's funeral, I saw my my ex uncle that my wife, my my aunt was married to. He was at my mom's funeral, and so we were standing there talking on when he was the superintendent building the sites, and. Uh, but see, that's been since 2016. Um, I was kidding him. I said, do you have any of the old, any of the blueprints or anything like that? And he said he was going to check for me and let my cousin know. And it was the cousin that's the priest that I was telling you when we were on Warden. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, you got to love that side of it, right? A priest is at a missile base. Yeah. I mean, that's... The irony. Well, anyway, Bryce, I mean, I can go on with these silly stories. Um, let me go through these pictures, and I'll... Uh, yeah, well, obviously I need to take the warden, you know, preview down, but I, I, I'm going to I'm gonna post your email to that guy, and... Uh, well, we can see which other ones, we can see which other ones we've got. I mean, I don't... If I can find that one taken of the inside, then shoot the ones on the outside. And, yeah. Even if it's uh, one, that's still the only interior photo. photo. Well, that's it. I mean, I don't understand why they're not. When he's saying he's got to gain access to the to the domes, I'm like, you can't tell me that the tunnel is not intact between launch and, and the powerhouse. Yeah. I don't believe that. And it's all well and good. There's no structure there. Okay, that's that's still okay. You can you know you can you can still climb down a rope ladder, a chain ladder. Come on, it's. I will mention before we get off of here. You know how some of them will get elongated, like uh, maybe one of four. I think four B or four A is one of the utility tunnels. Is pretty oblonged itself. It's not a true oval anymore. You know what I mean? Well, From the sometimes, yeah, but sometimes when they came in to join other cross tunnels, uh -huh. they look that way. Huh. I mean, if you go back to some of my pictures, see, I kept a lot of pictures that I had taken because, okay, when I was in Baden, Baden the first time in 83, I had my cousin, she was with me. And she was just spooked as hell. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I had pictures of her. I mean, she just looked just scared as hell. Um, well, but, some... you know, my, my grandparents didn't want me to go down there by myself, so I had to take somebody, and my cousin was there, so it was like, come on, you're coming with me. Oh, uh, yeah. So, but it's like the, some, somebody had said from the, the ground settling is, is what, and maybe not reinforcing the... The, the ceiling of those utility tunnels that some of them had become oblongated or oval versus uh, tree. Maybe. My God, I just don't see how. Fuck, it's not that. There's only 40 feet. Yeah. And there really, I don't think there's over 30 feet of dirt on top of it. Uh -huh. Honestly. Well, you can, you I think less than that. Some of them you can really see. Like even at 4C, one of the tunnels was a true circle, and the other one... Probably the one that goes to the antenna silo is more, it is more kind of elongated shaped. And you think, and you can't see the utility, you can't see the antenna silos on the, the aerials for Warden. Okay? I couldn't see the doors. I mean, they may be covered up with dirt. There is like a circle that looks just about the location of where one of them would be. 
And I suppose, right. I suppose they could have took the doors off and just let it fill up to, I don't know, you'd have to take a look at it on, on Google Maps, but ever, all the well, facility stuff, that hemp company is in the, in the location of where the antenna silos would be. Well, that's interesting. Um, I mean, I was talking to Ira about it, and we were laughing. I said just because I had read an article, and um, you know, who the hell knows? I mean, uh, it's really the last one. Obviously, we're not getting into the Idaho ones, and I, I don't know that there. Do you have any interior pictures from any of the Idaho sites? I'd have to go. I'm going to go back through uh, Bryce and, and check every one of them because. I mean, there's been so many that different people have sent me, like New Underwood, mm -hmm. okay? I, that was one of the sites. Of course, Sturgis, the last one. The other one, I think, is Hermosa. That's right. Is it Hermosa? Yeah. I can tell you what Matt Sakala told me years ago. He sent me some long emails. Where he was there when he was stationed at Ellsworth. Mm -hmm. He was Bill Huey's instructor. Oh, okay. one. Damn. And 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 Matt would send me would send me the checklists and let me copy them and then I'd send them back. I don't even know if Matt's still living. But Bruce, I mean, Bill Huey just thought the world of Matt, and because Matt had one of these photographic memories, he could just rem he could absolutely remember everything. And Huey was, Bill would kid me and say, damn it, it was hard to work with that guy because he just memorized everything. He just yeah. knew it all. Awesome. There's no way. He, he, he wouldn't miss one little piece, right? He said it was tough. And he would tell me the story that he got in there. The, he got into the equipment terminal. It was open. The plug was removed. The ground had settled, and the cattle in the neighborhood would get too close, slide down, and the carcasses were lined up. Damn. And I made the comment, as I said, well, it'd be one thing if you did fall in the damn thing. At least you'd fall on all the carcasses versus, <laughs> you, know, you know, the steel floor. Yeah. You know? but, um, I don't know. I just remember him telling me that he got the dash one from inside of Hermosa. No shit. I mean, I, I was amazed. He said, yeah, Gary, I got the complete dash one from inside of the Hermosa site. Right. He goes, I was just driving around, right? He, go, I was, he, and he was kidding me. He goes, I was in uniform. And he goes, I had this little pen light. And so he goes, I saw the site and went over there and just started walking through. So he had to have gotten he, to the LCC if he got the dash one. Well, yeah, and that's what he said. He said, Gary, he told me, he says, the whole, the whole T.O. library was there. Damn. And I was, oh, my God. God, Matt. Um, and then I had friends that went up there, and you can, I think Silo World's got the pictures. You can see them walking up the access road to Hermosa. So if I'm not mistaken, the water department for the little community's got a hold of the site now and sealed some of that up. So I'm not sure... But, you know, I'd love to bring a drone, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And and, and then just really get in there and see what she looks like from the air, because that tells you a lot. Um, um, but I'm trying to think of, of who else. See, Bill Huey's the one that sh shot the bulk of the pictures there for Sturgis. Uh-huh. And his little girl was little. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but see, those launchers, he never took a, a shot of the uh, antenna, but they were full of water. And see, that's... See, this Nick is mentioning at four seas, constantly talking about the, the wells. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if he's going after the water. I, I don't... Bryce, he's got to be doing something. I'm just not... Uh, maybe I'm just not picking up on it. I don't really buy it. I don't know, maybe it is he's going to turn it into survival condos. I don't know. I would have never thought that would have, not that close to Denver. I mean, shit, you're, Denver would be a target. Yeah. I mean, 
it, it'd be a target from Lockheed Martin's standpoint. I mean, it, you know. Um, One thing I'll say about that Sturgis is, is funny that the antenna silos and probably the silos were flooded, but when you see that excavator in there tearing the LCC, or the, I, I assume uh-huh. it's the LCC, uh-huh. it's dry in there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't, I, I, I don't, uh, I mean, I've had a lot of guys shoot pictures, like for New Underwood. Yeah. Uh, damn it, there's another name for that site. I can't think of it. Oh, shit. It may be Hermosa. No, Hermosa's, Hermosa's different. Or is Hermosa's it a, is it a Elm City or? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a guy by the name of, I think his name was Angel Saint something, um, sent me a bunch of photographs. I don't know what the hell, he went all over the country and every time he was in a different part of America, he always sent me photographs of the sites. Oh uh, yeah, all top side. Yeah, I mean he couldn't get into New Underwood and my position was I'd love for you to, I said you got to get into the... <laughs> I mean, that's the whole object. No oh, offense, yeah. Well, they must have sealed that plug then. Um, I know they did it. Her most, I mean, well, see, I haven't got to see any of the photo. I mean, I don't know. I, I do know if we had a drone, it would be just super easy. Um, well, I'll say the more people. See, always in the past, Bryce, always in the past. I flew, I had my own planes. Uh-huh. I'd fly over and shoot the aerials. This drone stuff, to me, is the way to go. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> 4K. You know? um, well, the more people start I mean, doing this, the like... drone footage at Site 4, uh-huh. I've never seen those shots from inside the silo looking out. Yeah. I mean, that was an angle you never get to see. Yeah. So, I, I mean, they, I, I was just amazed at that. Yeah, it really gives you the per- perception of... of spe-